Namaste, entrepreneurs. Today, we're delving into an essential aspect of starting and running a business in India, the Gumasta license. I'm, and this is your go-to guide for business compliance. What is the Gumasta license, you ask? Well, it's not just a piece of paper. It's your ticket to legally operating your business. This mandatory registration, governed by the Shops and Establishments Act, ensures that your business complies with labor laws and regulations. Whether you're a small shop, a restaurant, or any establishment that employs people, the Gumasta license is a must. Even if you're a freelancer or a consultant working from home, certain states may require you to obtain this license. Now, let's talk about the process. Applying for the Gumasta license involves submitting the necessary documents, such as proof of identity, address, and photographs. The application is usually done at the municipal corporation or the local authority office. The Gumasta license is typically valid for a year, and it's crucial to renew it to ensure continuous compliance. Keep track of the expiration date and initiate the renewal process in a timely manner to avoid any legal complications. Having the Gumasta license not only keeps you on the right side of the law, but also opens up opportunities. Many vendors, banks, and government authorities may require this license for various transactions, so having it can facilitate smooth business operations. Non-compliance with the Shops and Establishments Act can lead to penalties, fines, and even the closure of your business. It's not just about following the rules, it's about ensuring the sustainability and legality of your venture. So there you have it, the Gumasta license demystified. Remember, obtaining and renewing this license is a crucial step in building a successful and compliant business in India. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more business insights. This is Signing Off. Best of luck with your entrepreneurial journey.